Well, the reason we chose to send our children to the Murrayfield was that the Murrayfield actually stood out as having a fantastic induction process. When we looked around for sort of prospective nurseries, um, the Murrayfield was the only one that showed us every room for every stage of our child's development so we could see you know, how they would become from, go from being a baby to a toddler to a child that was ready and able to go to school. In the nursery, we've got, we're registered for 83 children and we have 27 staff on the premises. Majority of them have been here for long periods of time, so we've got a really good continuity of staff within the building. Um, and you'll see as you sort of go around, the ethos of the nursery is a happy, fun place, environment to be. They bring a newspaper in every day. I think they pick up, someone picks up the metro on the bus on the way in in the morning, one of the teachers, um, and they sit down with that paper and they learn about um, the current affairs, what's happening um, today. Um, they talk about some of the stories that they see there, some, maybe some of the, the, the serious stuff, and then, and then maybe some of the light, more light-hearted things that, that they read throughout the paper. And that's always, it's always good to, when I pick Martha up at the end of the day, she's talking about the kind of things that I've, I've been reading about, and she's got a kind of understanding about some of the, some of the kind of things that are going on in the world around her, which I, which I, which I think is really good and really impressive. I really think that one of our unique things is, is that we do consult the children in absolutely everything we do. Uh, even like for today, we made a mind map of getting the children's opinions on what they thought were the best things to show for the film as well. So consulting the children, listening to them, taking on board what they say and going with it and all the time like challenging them, asking them questions, why you think this, what do you want to do next? Listen to children, take it from them and they will give you all the answers. Um, what they have got in place is a great buddying system that um, will enable younger children to move into a room and my son was involved in the buddying system. He helped younger people feel comfortable in um, the rooms and show them where all the different parts of the rooms were, which is great. And they also have two roles that they take very responsibly, table monitor and fruit monitor, and it gives them a grounding in social skills and also manners. Being involved in the table and fruit monitor, they have to uh, table monitor, they have to put out all of the uh, knives and forks and napkins, and fruit monitor, they have to dish out all of the fruit to all of the other children. It's a very responsible job. And they take it very seriously, and they're very proud of it as well. We take a lot of our um, activities out into the garden um, as well, so the children run around, they count, they play games. We have an eco garden um, where the children go in and they do lots of planting and they'll actually tell us when they want to do it. So if they're in the, the nursery, they'll say that they want to go out into the garden now and we'll take them, get their coats on and we'll go. There's no sort of set time um, where we're like, you know, 10 o'clock right is our garden time. The children can go out and in as they please throughout the day um, as well, which they absolutely love. Why we chose the nursery was the fact that they have a purpose-built on-site uh, kitchen and they have a fantastic chef who looks at all of the food on a sort of nutritional and balanced level and they plan sort of weeks in advance what the menus are going to be and that's something that I really like the fact that my child's actually getting a sort of nutritious meal every day which is important you know food is an important part of the life and as long as they've got good food inside them they'll learn. All the staff in the building are qualified with their nursing and nurse training as, a, as their first background um, level. We also do a lot of CPD training within the nursery. We've actually tonight, we've got um, somebody from Edinburgh Council coming to do child protection training, the new um, system, new procedures in place. So they're coming tonight after hours um, to do that. So every month the staff meet together. We have a meeting once a month to evaluate the nursery. And then the following month we do staff training. So anybody that has completed a training course will come back and share it with everybody else as well, just to keep that everybody up to date with the new legislations or procedures that are going on. I love working here. <laughs> yes, I do. I love working here. I've been here nine and a half, ten years. So. Um, yeah, and find it very challenging. Every, every day is different. Um, I'm continuously say, I mean, this has been very important to us because I think it's getting recognition of the good work that we've been doing. And again, it gives us something to work towards and even to continuously better ourselves because, you know, okay, we can do this, but let's not stop here. Let's keep going and see where we can take this with the children and take them.